Okay, Crystal asked a really awesome question. You may have noticed with some alignments in the Galactic Astrology Report that there are several star systems that are sharing same zodiac sign and similar astral degrees. For example, Spica and Arcturus will mostly come together in the same report. Uh, many of the Orion stars will show up together. Of course, the different Pleiadian stars show together. So, but she was wondering specifically about Spica and Arcturus. From what we know about Spica and Spican star seeds on Earth, they lived in, in the world in Spica in a higher density form, and very sparsely populated world, very uh, peaceful and harmonious living. So when they come to Earth, they tend to need a lot of personal space. They are very conscious of what they are allowing into their reality, what type of people, what type of frequency, and the way they live their life just naturally, how they're wired, would be a great example of how we should live to be in greater peace and harmony within our own bodies, within our uh, experience of reality. So if an Arcturian soul originating in Arcturus will choose to incarnate and speak up before coming to Earth, it would possibly be because they first want to, I would say Spica is possibly slightly lower density than some of the highly advanced Arcturian souls that we are interacting with on Earth. And perhaps it's like a nice transitioning stop of becoming more of an individual consciousness rather than in Arcturus, you feel really as a collective and you're um, working on, on you know, collective uh, group projects. So that's just my presumption. It's not a truth. It's what I am sensing and what I have felt from some of these souls. Arcturus would possibly be the origination in some of these cases, then Spica as a uh, way to getting to getting used to individual consciousness and then coming to Earth, even to lower density, uh, experience what it is like here. And the purpose would be to holding higher frequency and teaching us the importance of maintaining a uh, healthy uh, space around us, seeing how everything affects us. I didn't meet too many speakers, very, very few. So we probably just need to generate more data. I'm not sure if Spica could be the origin and then heading to Arcturus and then here. I suppose it could be if a speaking soul desired to go to higher density and become fully of service to creator and then stopping at Arcturus to get some training and become uh, educated on many different projects that are occurring in lesser density worlds that Arcturians are involved with. So that could also be the case, that it was first Spica, then Arcturus to go to school uh, or get the assignment and then Earth. Um, and as we know, of course, the linear time sense is out of the window when you go into higher density. Uh, Thank you.